So small lights are actually changing the game and maybe not for bigger productions, but for one man bands or smaller crews, I believe that small chip on board lights are completely changing the game. And recently there's been a new kit on the block for compact lights and that's Suray. They make the C150X. They sent this out to me for review. And honestly, I wasn't too interested in having more small lights. I've reviewed tons of June lights on this channel and I get to keep those, but this one, is slightly different. There are a couple things that are just better. Obviously it has 50 more watts of output, which more light, the better. And it's still pretty compact. And if you've been following this channel, you might be wondering why the heck am I on my porch? I live in Florida. It is so humid. You could probably see the sweat on camera, but we actually had a power outage, which is kind of normal over here. And I was editing, I was working and I couldn't work anymore. My wife was leaving to go run some errands and I'm just home alone, not able to do really anything without technology. So I figured I would film this. And since I'm outside, because inside is probably even hotter than where I'm at right now, this light is actually super useful in situations like this because I have a power outage. I can't plug in lights anywhere because obviously no power, but it runs on battery and it's small. So I have tons of other lights that run on battery, but they're not like this. I just wouldn't even use them, but I'm able to throw up a light like you're about to see on the screen. There are some cons that I do have with this light and there are some things that are just better than its competitors, which I'm going to be comparing it to the X100 from June because let's be real, they're basically uh, the same thing. You're able to get pleasing results like this by having a soft light i can dial down the exposure separate myself more from the background because it's actually decently powerful it's 150 watts so having this outside just a super easy like this thing is so tiny it's so small and so easy to use and the main difference from the x100 is the fact that it's obviously 50 watts brighter. But anyways, if you're new to this channel, if this is your first time here, my name's Anthony. And really my whole goal with the YouTube channel is to save you time and money with gear, cinematography tips, whether that's lighting, working with a crew. So welcome to the channel. It's great to have you and let's get right into it. So I'm not too much of a spec guy, but the reason why I even chose to review this light is because it's 150 Watts and it's super tiny like the June lights, the X100, the G200, all those other lights. It's super compact and really good for running gun work. But this one was awfully similar to the X100, which I'll just grab real quick. It's awfully similar in size to the X100. It looks similar in shape. Everything's basically the same besides the fact that this is a lot thinner than the C150X. I, I'm gonna get so confused with all these numbers and letters, but it's a lot thinner. And the X100 can take batteries, which is a big deal to me. They're just like clip on batteries super quick. The C150X can't, that is a pretty big bummer because I have to use V mounts and I have to have a cord and all that stuff, but it is more powerful. So I feel like I don't need to talk about the importance of having tiny lights, but for some reason, People always comment, they're like, oh, just get this light or just get that light when it's like four times the size. And apparently people don't realize the benefit of having these small lights. If I can have a small backpack that literally fits all of my lights for an indoor talking interview is wild compared to what it used to be, which I had to get an Aperture 120D, which had this big case, another light for the back, the Godox, whatever, 60 watt, also gigantic light. And now we have these tiny little sliver lights that are bicolor and do the exact same thing as those other huge lights. For me, that's been crucial because that means I don't need to bring tons of crew to set up lights for an interview. So if the client doesn't have the budget, I can actually take that job as opposed to paying crew and still taking that job if I need the money. So for me, it's a huge deal having my lights super compact like this. I didn't even think this way until they started creating lights of this size. So kudos to all the companies that are making lights like this. This isn't gonna be a long video. I don't have tons of different lighting setups. I'm not gonna go into that because it just 
doesn't really, you guys have seen that on this channel. If I have something interesting to shoot, then I'll make it happen. But right now I'm moving and doing all that stuff. I just can't, sorry guys, I wish I could. But anyway, so down to the specifics and why I would choose this light over the X100 and then why I would choose the X100 over the new Sure C150X. That's a question I would have if I didn't get sent this because this light is pretty appealing, especially for the price, which is what we're gonna get into. So the Sure C150X is selling right now for $250, which is $100 less than the X100. If you're just starting out, a $100 difference is a pretty big deal. And if you're buying multiple of these lights, that really adds up. On the flip side, the June light for 350 bucks does come with that little battery attachment that for me is one of the biggest benefits of this light. The fact that I can just slap something on, stick it on a stand and go. This takes a little bit more setup because I need a V-mount battery or I need to plug it into mains power. Now, whether that's a deal breaker for you or not isn't, Really for me to say that's your decision, but that is something to take into account when comparing these two different lights. Something I don't really think about too much and I probably would have never thought about unless I had these two lights sent to me because I wouldn't have just purchased them both for no reason is the accessories. So the Sure, unfortunately, because I want the June light to have good solid accessories, has better accessories. The bones mount adapter is more solid. The V mount plates, all these other things are just way more robust. This little softbox is bigger and gets pretty compact, just like the June one, except it's a bigger softbox. So the accessories that go for this light are just better in my opinion. Oh, I'm sweating. It's humid Florida. It sucks. But anyways, so the other thing to consider with these lights is the app. And if you've seen any June light reviews that I've put out, you know that I can't stand their app. And again, unfortunately, I'm saying unfortunately because I really want the June light to be better in this area. The Sure app is almost perfect. It works seamlessly. It works every single time, at least from my experience. And that's something that's a bit of a deal breaker for me when it comes to being on set. I want reliability. I need it to be reliable. I can't have it just fail on me when we're all on set, waiting to start speeding. We have talent, actors, all of these different things. And then my light app isn't functioning properly. So that's a huge win for the Sure light, but it's not all butterflies and rainbows with the Sure light. I do have some pretty big gripes with it that make me want to grab this one over that one for certain case scenarios. And that is that it doesn't have an external battery. It's still pretty small, but it is a good bit larger than the X100. And if you're adding all the accessories to make it usable, unlike just having an external battery, it does get a good bit bigger. But other than that, this light is brighter, feels more robust, it has more accessories. It just so happens that for me, I do value having those external batteries and just being able to plug it on and take it and even just run and grab it like this easily means a lot more than 50 watts more of power. One thing I almost forgot to mention is that you can power it off of USB-C, which I do that with the X100s often if I wanna plug it into mains because you just can it's a lot easier than bringing that huge power brick and whatever both june and sure have gigantic power bricks will i use this light absolutely if i know i need more power i will bring this light right now i'm outdoors i just want to show you guys like right now i'd be super overexposed but i'm able to nd for the background and get decent exposure to where the background isn't completely blown out. I probably wouldn't be able to do that with the X100. I'm really kicking this light right now. So that is one of the main benefits. Obviously you could have known that without watching this entire video because it's 50 watts, but I wanted to give you guys a firsthand experience and mildly compare these two lights so that you can make a better buying decision. I don't review anything on this channel that I don't personally enjoy and that I wouldn't promote to you guys. I'm not gonna waste your time. There's no point in that. I've literally reached back out to companies to send them back products because I just didn't like them. And I didn't want to make a video for you guys to watch seven to 10 minutes and just know that the product sucks. So all that to say, I do care about what you guys spend your money on. I'm not just going to promote 
whatever. All the affiliate links for these products are down below because that does help the channel. I get a little bit of kickback. Links to the LUTs I use for every single one of my videos and my projects are also linked down below. But that's it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm literally dripping sweat like the